Welcome to Technical Safety BC's Design Registration Video Tutorial. In this video segment, we'll show you how to easily manage your design registrations. We'll go over how to create an account, submit a design registration, track the progress of your submissions, and how to send and receive communication. Let's get started. The first thing you'll need to do is create your design registration account. We'll begin on the Technical Safety BC website homepage. Find a design registration button around the middle of the page. Whenever you need to manage your design registrations, this is where you'll want to go first. Note that the My Account button is not used for design registrations. My Account is used for other things, such as permits and invoicing. Let's go back to the design registration button so we can create a design registration account. This takes us to the design registration home page. This is the main page for all things related to registering designs. To create your account, click Design Registration Portal Login on the top right, which takes you to the login page. To create an account for the first time, click Not Registered. Next, fill in the form with your information. Click Submit when you're done. You'll see a confirmation message confirming your form has been sent. Note the account is not automatically created. We'll need to review your account details. You'll receive a confirmation email once your account has been created. It usually takes one business day from the time you hit submit to the time you receive your email. You might need to check your junk folder if you don't see it in your inbox. The email includes an invitation ID and a registration code. Click register to finish your account activation. This takes you to the Invitation Confirmation page, where you enter the ID and the code, along with a few other details to complete the process. After clicking Confirm, you'll see this pop-up telling you to check your email. The email will have an Activate Account link. This link allows you to set your password and activate the account. With your account created, you can submit your designs with us. Let's take a look at how to do that. Once again, we'll go right to the Design Registration homepage by clicking the Design Registration button on Technical Safety BC's main webpage. From here, once again, click Design Registration Portal Login, which takes you to the login page. As a reminder, avoid using the My Account button to access your Design Registration account. This button is used for permits and invoicing. Clients occasionally get thrown off by the My Account button, thinking it's the same as their design registration account, when in fact, they are two separate things. The design registration portal login will send you to the correct account. This is the login screen. You can log in with your email and the password you created earlier. Once logged in, select your technology. For this tutorial, we'll use elevating devices as our technology and a hydraulic elevator as our system. The next part of the process involves providing all the necessary details of your design submission through our submission form, with mandatory fields denoted by an asterisk. These online forms replace former PDF forms. We have a different form for each type of system, so the details will vary. We wouldn't ask the exact same information for a boiler as we would a hydraulic elevator, for example. However, some fields are consistent across all of our forms, such as project name, applicant, and site and installation information. Note that the form defaults with all sections expanded. You can collapse the sections by clicking the arrows on the right. As you can see, the hydraulic elevator form has four sections. One field that appears in all of our forms is attachments. You can upload design files in the attachment sections by dragging and dropping them or by clicking on Browse. Technical Safety BC can receive most common file types. A final important part of submitting design registrations involves declarations. The professional engineer declaration must be completed by a professional engineer. In limited circumstances, Technical Safety BC may consider other types of qualifications. Reach out to us if you need clarification. Elevating devices, passenger ropeways, and amusement devices design registrations also include permit declarations. Elevating devices permit declarations are to be completed by a licensed elevating contractor. Amusement devices and passenger ropeways permit declarations 
are to be completed by a company officer. Please fill in all the information thoroughly and note that checking the boxes is the equivalent of a signature. If you need to gather more information before submitting your design, you can save it as a draft by clicking here at the bottom of the form. This is a useful feature as you'll likely have different people working on the application. For example, we recommend contractors and their teams complete their sections, save as draft, and then notify the professional engineer to review their content. The professional engineer can review the content, complete the declaration, and click submit. After clicking submit, you can review your application in the submission preview page. If you need to change any content, use the back button to revisit the form and change any content before you submit. If you're satisfied, click Submit to complete the submission. At this point, your submission will be locked and a confirmation will show that we've received your submission. Any further updates to the application can only be done by communicating with us via the correspondence feature, which we'll look at a bit later in this video. Once you've submitted a design with us, you can track its progress through your design registration account. All your submissions are viewable at a glance on the overview page. This is the page you'll see immediately after you log in. To get here quickly from another part of your account, you can click the overview button at the top of the menu. The overview page shows details and the status of your design submissions. The admin number provides a direct link to the design submission for easy access. Next, we have the project name along with submission and review dates. The contact email for the submitter is also listed here. This is important when there are several users that have access to the account. You can see who submitted what. The last column contains the status for each submission with color labels such as initial, in progress, on hold, registered, and draft. If you did a save as draft earlier, it'll appear here with the draft status label. Here's a legend of the types of status you'll see and what they mean. Designs prepared by qualified professionals have design assumptions and judgments that will require communication and clarification to be effectively registered. In this final part of the tutorial, we'll review how to easily communicate with us in order to do that. Your account includes an integrated messaging feature that allows you to communicate with us on a specific design and keep all correspondence in just one place. No need to use email. To use the messaging feature from the overview page, select the design you need to address from the admin number column. This will open up the design submission. At the top of the page, you'll see the correspondence icon. Click it to open up the messaging pop-up window. Here, you can type in a message and share files with our engineering team. Every upload will be timestamped and saved. Messages are recorded within your design registration submission as we see here. This is why it's important to only use the correspondence feature when communicating with us on a specific design. Any back and forth discussions about the design will be neatly contained in this area making it much easier for you to review as opposed to search it for it in emails. Note that in your correspondence, you're communicating directly with the responsible engineer. Also, email notifications are triggered whenever our engineers post a message. The person who submitted the design will receive a notification letting them know that they have a message waiting for them in the portal. For more general inquiries that are not tied to a specific design submission, the design portal has a support and feedback feature. Simply click the support and feedback button, complete the message pop-up, and click send. Thank you for taking the time to view this tutorial. You are ready to successfully register and track your design registrations, and we are here to help. If you have any further questions, our team can be reached at eim at technicalsafetybc.ca.